All right, fantasy footballers, we are into week, well, we're going into week nine now. Week eight is in the books. We're more than halfway through the uh, fantasy regular season. Uh, playoffs start week 15 this year, so, uh, you know, we are just cruising along here. Um, as far as real football goes, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Bills win. That was, uh, um, they made it more difficult than it needed to be. But uh, Bill's victory over the Dolphins is always needed and uh, and always welcome. That's seven in a row against the Dolphins, but who's counting? Sorry, Marissa. Um, Josh Allen is officially the Dolphins' daddy. Uh, speaking of Josh Allen, uh, I don't know if you guys all watched Monday Night Football last night, um, but I don't understand anybody who watches Monday Night Football and doesn't watch the Manning cast because it is uh, amazing. Um but uh, the Manning cast last night, Josh Allen was the guest in the third quarter. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that and enjoyed seeing that Peyton Manning's kid's favorite player is Josh Allen. In fact, the back of his kid's uh, jersey in uh, flag football, he doesn't have Manning on the back. He has Jay Allen. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we got going around the league. Speaking of Monday Night Football, Giants um, found a way to blow it, as usual. So um, there's that. Uh, Could have been, would have been nice if they had beaten the Chiefs and, you know, given the other AFC team a loss. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Jets, how about, how about Mike White? I'll give you guys some props on that one. Mike White looked very good. Uh, hopefully Zach Wilson's back in two weeks when you guys play the Bills because uh, Mike White looks like a player. Zach Wilson who? Um, let's see. Cowboys winning a game with their backup quarterback. Congrats, uh, Tom McGrath. The uh, the Vikings continue to find ways to be a dumpster fire. Um, around the league, uh, I mean, that's all that really comes to mind right away. Bucks lost, but I don't think anybody is like – Worried about them. Uh, yeah, I mean, is what it is. Uh, Patriots beating the Chargers is a nice win for them. But, I mean, I don't think anybody's seriously considering the Patriots as a contender. Maybe a playoff team. But, uh, you know, a wild card. But but not like a serious contender or anything like that. And, um, yeah, the AFC continues to remain wide open. The NFC is basically five teams. And you, you decide who you think is best between the Cowboys and... The uh, Packers, the Cardinals, the Rams, and uh, the Bucks. Yeah, those five. Um, and y you know, you decide who you who you think is the best team. Um, if you hear Blippy and children in the background, that's because uh, daycare. Uh, my kids aren't allowed to go to daycare because apparently, if one kid in the house has a temperature, all the kids can't go. So, you know, yay me. Uh, so is what it is. But the uh, the recap lives on regardless. All right, on to fantasy. Uh, let's see. First game, we got me and Larry. My team uh, decided, you know what? We're not going to show up this week. We're all going to take a nice bye week, uh, give you 99 points. I would think Amari Cooper is the only player on my team who literally showed up. And um, I wish Derrick Henry had not shown up because uh, looks like he's uh, lost for the season. So he gives me six points and gives me nothing. Uh, like I said, Mari Cooper is the only guy on my team who showed up with 26 points. My team didn't even crack 100. And, um, and despite getting underperforming games from Kyler and DeAndre Hopkins, uh, uh, Larry still gave me the beat down 122 to 99. Michael Pittman with 30. Uh, Bart Scott or Boston Scott with 18. Who starts Boston Scott? Whatever. And and his big his big score was actually Eagles defense scoring 20 points. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, so Larry gives me the beat in there. Um, 122 to 99. Moving on to Kyle and Marcel, brother on brother crime here. Kyle beats Marcel 124 to 94. Monster games for Kyle out of uh, Michael Carter, who's tied for the high score of the week with 31 points. And then Josh Allen gives him another 28. Marcel, one of three teams this week, including myself, to not even crack 100 points. Um, he got a, a good game out of Keenan Allen. And that's about it. I mean, Agnew and Fremarth gave you a little bit more than you thought you'd get, but... 31 out of Carter, 23 out of Aaron Jones, 28 out of Josh Allen. Uh, that was all she wrote. Uh, let's see. Uh, going on to our closest game of the week. Uh, Tom beating, Tom Jessup beating uh, Marissa 109 to 91. Uh, Marissa is the third of 
the three teams to not crack 100 points this week. Uh, 109 to 91 there, 18 point game. Uh, Jonathan Taylor showed up for Marissa, and that was it. Uh, Tom Jessup's team didn't really perform well. I mean, Sanders threw him a zero. Uh, Bridgewater only got him 12, Moss 10. But at the end of the day, Debo Samuel got him 23, Daryl Henderson got him 22, and Deontay Johnson got him 15, and that was uh, all she wrote. Um, this was our closest game. I took a quick look before. I didn't see anything that would make a difference in the game. Um, if somebody does have a bench, actually, no, that's not our closest game. The closest game is uh, Tommy and Rob Jessup. We'll get to that one soon. But um, I, I just taking a quick glance through the games, I didn't see a bench player that would have made a difference in any of the games. But if uh, if I missed it, let me know. Um, on to Rob Wilson and JJ, 125-105 in favor of Rob Wilson. He remains in first place at 7-1. and one. Um Let's see, for Rob Wilson, Eckler, who uh, didn't practice all this week, but if you saw, Eckler put himself in his own fantasy lineup, letting people know, hey, listen, I'm playing. I'm here I'm here for you. And um, uh, so Eckler showed up with 24. McKissick was 17. Oof, man. Uh, I, I do that because I'm an Antonio Gibson owner, and McKissick just drives me crazy. Uh, Robert Woods with a nice game with a rushing touchdown in there, too. Hawkinson. Uh, for, for JJ, Tom Brady showed up. Melvin Gordon showed up. Thielen showed up. And actually, Devontae Parker had a nice game, too. He, uh, he was dicing us up in the first half. Um, but that's about it. Let's see. JJ had a 16-point game on his bench. I mean... Even if he starts Jamison Crowder over Terry McLaurin, which who would do that? It's still not enough points to make the difference. The the one that killed JJ is is uh, David Johnson, his running back, getting him one point. But um, he had Jacobs on a bye. Montgomery's still out hurt. Yeah, that's what that that's what did him in. Um, Let's see. On to our closest game of the week. We got Tom McGrath at 143, Rob Jessup at 130. And um, like I said, I didn't see a, a bench player that would have made a difference for Rob here. The But what would have made a difference for Rob is to start a quarterback not named Sam Darnold or Zach Wilson. Um, there's got to be a better quarterback on the waiver wire. I have to believe that. Um, or, or a trade out there. But um, rolled with it. And... Uh, Tommy gets the victory by 13 points. He got a big game out of A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown tied with Michael, Michael Carter for the highest point total of the week at 31. Godwin got him 28. Um, uh, Mitchell from the uh, 49ers got 19. Um, Rob had, had nice games out of uh, Joe Mixon, Tyler Lockett, Brandon Cooks, but, uh, but not enough there. And um, I think that if my memory serves that's the highest scoring loss at 130 yeah i mean honestly 130 it looks like the third highest score in the league this week it's just unfortunate that you played the person who tied for the highest score of the week um and then in our final game justin and ken Sogarties versus Sogarties. justin gets the victory 143 122 tommy mcgrath and justin tied for the highest score of the week at 143 uh as for ken um Mahomes still underperforming at 14 points, uh, but he got nice games out of Patterson, Tyreek Hill, unfortunately. The reason I say unfortunately is I needed Tyreek Hill to score under 21 for a victory in another league, and uh, he decided to score 27. I also needed to keep, uh, who was it, um, the running back, uh, Darrell Williams under 14, I think, for a victory over Tom Jessup in Yahoo, and I believe he scored 18, so... Uh, you know, disappointing Monday night game all around, um, with the exception of the Josh Allen appearance. Um, so let's see, DK, Tyreek Hill, Patterson, and uh, Devontae Booker having nice games for Ken, but it wasn't enough because uh, Matt Stafford, Najee Harris, Lamb, Cup, uh, Daryl Williams, there you go, with 16 points. Uh, oh, and Bill's defense with 11 all showed up. Uh, Keo even had a 21 point game from Beasley on his bench, a 16 point game from Randall Cobb on his bench, and that was all she wrote. On to the standings. Uh, let's see. Rob Wilson is currently in first by himself at 7 and 1. Oh, I got a baby trying to break in here. Let me go grab her. What is it, honey? Oh. 
You wanna see yourself? <laughs> this is the reason that none of the kids are in daycare is because of this one right here. Say hey, hi. You see yourself? Can daddy finish his, uh, his recap? Hey, yeah. All right, recap. Rob Wilson, first by himself. On to the uh, second and third place teams at six and two is Kehoe and Tom Jessup. It looks like Kehoe's got a bad A. Um, about a hundred and uh, 119 point lead on mom, Jessup. Mom, mom. And then on to Larry at five and three. Should be me. Damn it. Uh, Larry is five and three um, by himself there. And then at four and four, the order goes Ken, Marcel, me. If the season were to end right now, I'm in seventh. Whew. And uh, and Marcel would be the final playoff team, uh, and then Tommy McGrath is also four and four, one spot under me. Um, let's see, uh, Kia, uh, Marcel's got a ten point lead on me. Ken's got a eleven point lead on me, so I'm gonna make up for that next week. Um, will you shush? Um, on to the three and five teams, Kyle and JJ. And um, and then at one and seven, you got Marissa and Rob Jessup pulling up the rear. I'm not bothering with the final standing projection thing anymore. I think that's stupid. Um, let's take a quick peek at next week. What do we got? Week nine. Me and Keo. All right. Right now, I'm projected for 71 points. I should probably set a lineup, um, which also lets me know that I think probably a lot of my team's going to buy. So solid start there. Uh, Marcel at four and four going against one and seven. Marissa, JJ and Kyle three and five matchup. So whoever wins that game has a chance to you know make a push there to to get jump into that final playoff spot. Uh, the loser is kind of almost eliminated at that point. So big game between Kyle and JJ. Uh, Larry and Tom, big game for Larry at five and three going against six and two. Tom, this could be a spot for him to make up uh, some uh, some ground. Larry and Keo trying to continue to alternate who owns the trophy. Uh, let's see. Tommy McGrath and uh, Rob Wilson. 7-1, first place. Tommy trying to take that uh, take him down. And then uh, finally Ken and Rob Jessup at 4-4, four, 1-7. Four, that's, uh, that's pretty much all we got. Um, for those who don't know already, uh, we're going to celebrate the death of Marcel this uh this weekend so sunday at uh sunday for the one o'clock games we're gonna be at where are we gonna go uh, derby i think it is no not derby um mahoney's so i think we're going to abg first for some drinks in the morning and then um uh and then we're going to derby or derby going to mahoney's for uh the one o'clock game so if anybody wants to join us and celebrate marcel's death uh we'll be there what are you saying Say go Bills. Go Bills. Good talk. All right. We're out of here. Recap done.